Hello everybody, got a new video for you. There's some new information. A, a woman was doing some research on the underground homes here and pointed out something to me and uh, I think this might be important and I want to share it with everybody. Uh, I want to start here with uh, part of the transcript from the protective order here in, in 2013 and uh, one thing I noticed is the ADA, the assistant district attorney, Stacy Jewett at the time, she kept calling these bunkers, okay? I had never used the term bunkers, never Ever thought about it this was before I you know I'd been told about the four underground homes or was told they was put in by the push bushes is before Joe Lozano said that Sheriff Painter used to hang out down there you know before the before the woman told me one of them was a half block away I got a whole bunch of people documented saying underground homes and tunnels are here but anyway the ADA was calling them bunkers you know in court do you do you believe that people are still occupying some part of the underground tunnel or a bunker at this time you know and so I'm answering the question I hadn't even thought of bunkers you know now did you ever see people living in underground bunkers uh, no I didn't you know here's another one you know uh, now I'm going to get to where it kind of plays into this but what do you think about people in these underground bunkers or tunnels are doing you know and uh, and you know I said I can only speculate you know and here we go did you ever express to you that he believed there was an underground bunker in his home and she, that was asking the ex-wife there and so do you see the uh the pattern there i mean it's like the, it's like the ada knew they were bunkers already before i knew they were bunkers okay and that's the point and so i think we might want to ask stacy jewett if she knows about these million dollar underground homes that were hosting parties for international oil shows that might be something she knows something about okay and so anyway i want you to hear the phone call here that the, you know this is just a clip of it where i was told there were the four underground homes underground that he was talking about it was not one million, it was actually four, and they're actually homes. They're underground? Three bedroom, yes, they're three bedrooms, three well, bedroom homes. See, there's a lot of details. I've got a whole bunch of details. She said they're uh, at least 25 foot deep. Uh, how many bedrooms, buddy? There's three bedrooms. You know, how deep? Said they were having pedophile parties down there. She called them pizza parties, you know, pizza parties. Okay. So anyway, let's go look at where I, I think they might be, okay? Uh, let's go here. This is Google Maps, okay? So you can just go to Google Maps, put in my address, 3802 Fair Circle. You can do this yourself. Right behind my house is the Midland Home Depot store, okay? And this is the satellite view from the top of the screen, okay? And so we're looking, and I think one of these underground homes is in my backyard, okay? This is my home. This is where somebody under my home ambushed and shot me in 2012, and it's where I believe the last homeowner died the week before the 2008 oil show started. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna flip over to the map screen and look at my backyard. There's a building there in the backyard. See it? It's real clear. You can see that that building in the backyard. I'm going to flip back over. It's not there. Okay? Keep in mind, I got multiple people saying underground homes and tunnels are here. Okay? And, and so I wanted to show you that's where I believe one of the underground homes is at. Okay? I also suspected that this home here, okay, which is on Westmont Court, 3900 Westmont Court, has the empty lot in it right here that maybe one of the underground homes is here the reason is because this home had a mortar problem like my home did and i believe the mortar problem came from digging under the home so this home had a mortar problem my home had a mortar problem this home has a water well my home has a water well right next to it okay and then there's another home i found over here on on fair green court right next to the church 3800 fair green court it has a water well and it had the same mortar problem that my home had. And remember, keep in mind, I was told there was four three-bedroom underground homes here. So I'm thinking that's, you know, that might be where they are, you know. And so I wanted to show you that on Google Maps. Let's go to Google Earth, okay? Google Earth is a download application, and it has more data, okay? And that's what we're looking at here. And uh, what I want to show you on this one here... Uh, it allows me to go back in time with that time bar and right now see this this one image date on this one is June 2011 that's about six months before I was ambushed and shot and what I want to zoom in and show you is right here behind the Home Depot store you can see where a tunnel was cut coming out of that store aimed directly at my home I believe the people at the also party that was in the backyard right here were using this tunnel right here and 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 that's where that young girl was murdered at and uh, at the 2010 old show party 
and and it was probably in that tunnel. I think that tunnel. I showed that tunnel to to the Homeland Security in 2019, and they dug up the ground and poured concrete there. You know, that's another video, okay? But I wanted to show you that, and I want to show you this home over here, okay? And this is here. Uh, that's the one on Westmont Court. I told you, remember, I said it had a water well there, but it doesn't have a water well at that time, at 2011. Let's go back in time to 2013. And there you see that box right there. Okay, that is the water well right there. So between this this uh, February 2013 and June 2011, that water well was put in on there. And and I'm wondering if that water well wasn't put in as as because. Uh, one, I'm ambushed and shot. I had survived the murder attempt. It probably wouldn't have mattered if I would have died as planned because they plan when they cut my phone lines and, and shot me, they planned on me to die. But then after I survived, crawled out and survived, God saved my life, then maybe they come up with another plan and that's why the water well was put in there. Okay? And I want to show you the house that, that here on Fairgreen Court, 3800 Fairgreen Court, and we're looking at the... Uh, 2011 okay and I want you to look right here uh, there was a, a friend that noticed this look in this backyard right here okay watch this area in this backyard this is the 2011 six months before I'm Anderson shot and now I'm gonna change the time to the 2013 and and watch this look at there, there's a fence put in there okay ain't this weird fence that's what she was telling me a friend wrote that to me and said there's a weird fence that's right here and it just leaves this little section here just closed in section and we wonder if there ain't a suspected tunnel entrance right there okay and then i also noticed when i backed up it looks like there there was a ditch cut coming from this parking lot straight into where that fence line is you know you see that and that's where i was wondering if that is connected to the underground homes and of course this is the fairmont park church of christ that's where a law enforcement officer told me to snoop around. You know, Kevin Kahn. I've made videos about that. And remember the guy running down my alley, chased by a car, putting the trunk under a uh, gunpoint? This was the alley. It's right behind my house, you know. And so he just went right down the alley, and they caught him and put him in the trunk and never seen. It could have been a girl, too. You know, who knows? But, uh, but, uh, but anyways, I was going to show you the new bunker information here. Four underground bunkers. Maybe law enforcement wants to talk to Stacy Jewett, ADA, and find out what she knows about million-dollar underground homes that were hosting parties for uh, international oil shows. Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas.